longer must we contend with this disregard of law and order in our city. Signed, A.G. Curtis. Now that's one letter, but there are many more. Well, Chief, what have you got to say? All I can say, Commissioner, is what I've said before, and which you well know. The tremendous growth of our city, without adequate increase in police personnel, criminals from other districts making our city their winter headquarters. Notwithstanding all this, our percentage of arrests compared with other cities... We've heard all that before. What we want now is action. Front page stuff. Roasting the police department. Fine. This editorial. Listen. Big Joe Vallette, notorious gang, is negotiating for the purchase of an extensive tract of land near the Mexican border. This information follows in the wake of the recent underworld upheaval in an eastern city. It indicates a transfer of his nefarious activities into our very midst. You know what it means? He's going to make our city his rendezvous. Now, uh, what are you going to do about it? I'll turn this bullet letter over to Houston. Of course, we can't take him until he breaks the law. He's afraid of nothing. And I believe he cannot think this bird bullet. It'll take a man like that, like Houston, to get that fellow. But, Bill, you are getting restless again. I bet you'd like to be back in Algiers, fighting those rifts. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Oh, there's Captain Houston. Hello, Hello Tommy Maxine. boy. How, How are, are you? Dear? Huh? Just fine. Well, Buster, have you decided what you're going to be when you grow up yet? To what? I want to be the head gang man. Where did you get that, young man? Oh, Mickey Carey wants to be that. All right. I'm off of you, racketeer. Oh, I won't be the head gang man. I'll be Lindy. <laughs> now you're talking like my boy. <laughs> it's a great bunch of kids you got there, Daly. I think so, Captain. Come on up. Come on, Tommy. Come on. Oh, Chief. Let me have that report as soon as possible. Very well, Commissioner. Hello, Dad. Alice. Oh, Captain. Good morning. I want to see you for a few moments. Well, Captain, how are you feeling? Just fine, sir. It looks as if he's going to assign you to this Vallette invasion. Well, I've never seen this Vallette, but I hear he's tough. Tough? You tackle the wildly Sangali in Morocco. The Neapolitan Indian and that troublesome rebel in Honduras. But, son, this man is all three in one. I believe you, sir. Bill, you be careful. There, there, there. Don't you worry. All of this talk about gang rule is the bunk. Yes. An ignorant hoodlum. Intimidate peaceful citizens. Terrorize at the neighborhood, and at once he becomes a valiant Robin Hood with a halo around his head instead of a rope around his neck. There are plagues, sir, like rats. They'll have to be wiped out like rats. Right you are. Let me tell now, you. Now, Dad, let's... What'll it be this time? Oh, a new coat, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> My hat's on, please. Looks like you're in for it, sir. Mm -hmm. See you at noon, Bill. All right, Dad. 
Hello, Houston. Well, I guess you're in for it. You mean Villette? Yes. You know? Nope. Only what I read in the papers, Chief. They've been riding me today on general conditions. Now they're worried about this Villette affair. Well, let him come, Chief. I hear he's a man-sized job, and I'd like to tackle him. I believe you would like to meet that gorilla. I think I would. You know we're short of men, Houston. Now's the time to drag in those men off of those school crossings, Chief. Let the Boy Scouts tend to that. That'll give you 200 more men. Well, I don't know. I... Well, that's that. You take care of that, Muldoon. All right, Chief. Well, here we are, Chief. Yeah. This is my first trip to California. I hope it ain't our last. A lot of dough out here. Say, how are you going to handle this town? This local guy, Taroni, expects 500 grand. But I'm letting him in on a split. A split? Oh, I get you. around this local muck, Peroni. He'll have his gang here, and it may mean trouble. Okay. Come on. Hey, Taroni. Is that big shot Follett gonna shoot square with us? He's promised. If he don't, we're going to make it plenty hot for him. Don't worry. All right, stand back, fellas. This ship makes all stops at Harrington House, and Milford, Lincoln City, Robbins, Red. Stand back, let him in, will you, boys? Come in. Hey, where are you going? You can't get in here like this, fella. Get these pictures. I'll get them after the ship's gone. Hey, Tribune, get an eye full of cookies. <laughs> the only living one-man newspaper. <laughs> and I think he sets all the type, too. Yeah, and his dad prints them. And his kid brother sells them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! Get over that field! Go on, get going! What do you got there? Why, hello, Mr. Muldoon. Why, I've got a telegram for Mr. Vallette. Give it to me. I'll keep this. Will it be all right, Mr. Muldoon? Chief will fix that.
Hallo, Valette. Come on. Come on, let's get out of here. Bulletproof. Yeah. I don't know better than to make all this noise. There's the car I'll take. That's right, Mr. Follett. That is the car you're going to take. You haven't got anything on me. Oh, no? This'll do. All right. Come on. Well, let me talk to Follett. You'll have to see the chief. Get him in there. Chief. Well, if it isn't Phil, my old top sergeant. Yeah, but Joe's the name. <laughs> what do you know about that, Chief? An old buddy of mine. You know, I was just thinking about you the other day. You and those silhouettes of yours. <laughs> I still cut them. Say, do you remember the one of the German prisoners that you cut in the dugout? How scared he was? I always made them of my prisoners. Oh, regular rogues gallery, huh? Well, Phil, put her there. This is Villette? He is none other. Phil Terry. <laughs> Just a moniker I use. Joe Vallette's the name. But, Phil, you a gangster? Ah, oh, can that, Bill. It's a business. My business. You're a cop? What's the difference? Take Joe down and mug him. the look. Say, this ain't no library. Boy, I wrote everything in that paper. Oh, now I know why I can't sell them. Just a bunch of mash notes from a lot of silly dames. Here's one that says you never had chanced in life. 
that's funny. <laughs> I'll say it is. If you never had a chance, how could you amount to what you are? You go lay down someplace. Hey, keep quiet, you ducks. <laughs> that for you, all right. <laughs> you do. Oh, Joe. Here's a telegram for you. Oh, yes, my mother. It's in code, Joe. Hardly. A guy don't get code messages from his mother. No, not from his mother. But I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. You know, I'm sorry you turned out like this. I'm not. Listen. Come here. How much do you make per month? Enough. Enough to buy cigarettes. Don't say it, Joe. All right. You stick to your law and order. But don't forget that I tried to let you in on big business. Your business is pretty well on the rocks. Slight depression, but then business is bad everywhere. But the banks have plenty of money. Well, you can think about that on your way back east. It's a long way back, Bill. Gee, this is good news. Quick work, eh, Chief? Oh, oh Miss Heifetz, have you heard from the district attorney? He sent these in this morning. Uh, take these in to Finlinson. Papers are all right, Muldoon. You can turn the prisoners over to them. Oh, Houston. These are the men that are taking Vallette back east. How are you? All right, boys. You'll have to keep your eye on this fellow. He's pretty tough. Chief, you know, Vallette doesn't seem to think he's going back. No. You know, he doesn't impress me as a very tough guy. No, he wouldn't. But, Chief, I never knew a more determined man. He's dangerously quiet. I believe he'd stop at nothing in a squeeze. I guess you're right. That's his reputation. They coming for us, Joe? I guess they are. Well, here's where you take a ride. Only this one's on us. Here's your man. Oh, yeah? Greetings, Joe. Kind of rough, ain't you? Well, you're not so gentle yourself. Come on. Well, maybe you better go with him, Houston, just to make sure that we get him on that train. All right, sir. Are you going with him? Yeah, I'll go with him. Well, then I'll look after this other matter. Right. Hold this hat, will you? Now, everybody smile. Step on it, Daly. You got 15 minutes.
Oh, boy, that was a pip. Hey, buddy, where's me at? There it is, mister. Pardon me. Well, I'm glad that bullet matter is over with. So am I, Chief. Bailey. Bailey. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Delbert, that's us. I guess that's putting it over on the local. I guess I'll hold it for a while. Joe, oh, I see you found the place. Place? It's a nice sheep run. Where's the shower? Oh, wait till it rain. Oh, well, never mind. It'll do for the time being. Oh, say, Joe, how did you make the spring? Organization, my boy. Hello, Phil. Hello. Hello, Mother. Yeah, that's me. The last time I was his niece. It's all right. Next time you'll be my auntie. Oh, auntie. Oh, cut <laughs> Well, their credentials were all right. How did they get your warrants? Well, they overpowered us in our drawing room and stole them. Don't forget to mention that they throwed us off the train, too. What's the trouble, Captain? Somebody well, that escaped me. Got daily. Look after him while I report to the chief. What's happened? Tom, check on Houston. Report to me here. All right. Houston. Well... Well, let escape, Chief. Why, you're hurt, Houston. Oh, I'm all right, Tom, but they got Daly. Daly? That is... Probably hang him here. Tom, make it a general broadcast. Tell a couple of the sheriff's office and the state patrol? Yes, get them all. How'd they get to Houston? Oh, they hit me on the head from behind, Chief. Say, Joe, why did you bump those cops off? You put us all in a hot spot. Listen, my boy. Once upon a time, there was a big war. And there were two tough guys. Buddies. One of them by the name of Houston. Oh, but then you wouldn't understand. That's all right, dear. It doesn't hurt. And to see, you once saved that man's life. I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking of those daily kids. Yes. That's the pitiful part of it. He must be a coward. Oh, the strange part of it is... Bad man. Don't you worry your pretty head about Bill. I'll take care of me. May I come in, please? Well, now what am I supposed to say? 
Not a word. Just look pleasant. Wait a minute, not me. Oh, come on, Bill. We've never had a picture taken together. Let him do it. All right. Oh, too close. Now, just a minute. Hold it, please. Now, just one minute. Now, just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I had my rest, cool up. <laughs> it's a good thing I got my raincoat on. Here's a picture of this fellow Celeste. You better all take a look at it and pass it on. These are all picked men, Chief, that I'm sending on a fan through Hell's Flats. Name is Joe Vallette, alias Bill Terry. Height, six feet. Weight, 180 pounds. Dapper in appearance, rather domineering, sarcastic, talks slowly. Has a cast in left eye. We know that Vallette is tied up with Tyrone's local gang. Mm, I thought so. <clears throat> all set, Tom? Just about. I don't have to tell you that I want this man, Vallette. Forget certain rules and regulations. And go after him like he goes after his man. If you don't get him, he'll get you. Hey, you. What are you doing down here in the flats? Why, same as you. I'm looking for Vallette. But I got to phone my paper. There's one down the drugstore. Yeah, but that costs a nickel. Well, watch your step. You're in a hot spot. There you are, Taroni. How do you like yourself? Gee, how did you learn to do that? Well, I started on paper dolls. Oh, God, you don't finish that way. <laughs> what you reading? Just a load of paper. Give me the society part. Society? Those are the birds that feed us. What's this? Houston engaged to the commissioner's daughter. Well, we'll just salt that away for future reference. I don't know. Well, what do you want? Yes, I uh, use your phone, neighbor. Wait a minute. That goofy newspaper guy. Let him in. He's harmless. Go ahead. All right, come on. Come on, come on. Hey, uh, got a nickel, neighbor? Five cents. Me. Adam, eight, one, two. Each side, world, and times. Hello, that's you, Ma? Give me the editor. Hello. Is that you, Pa? 
Say, listen, I've got a big scoop. Tell Uncle to hold open the front page form, yeah? I'm down in the third district. I just saw the crack gold medal squad moving in, and oh boy, I'm in a hot spot for a big job, and I'm going to stay with it till I get it. And say, listen, tell Uncle to hold a two-column uh, spread for Joe Vallette ugly mug. Yeah. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. Thanks, and so long. How you do, Mr. Pellet? I must be going. Wait a minute. You forgot to take my picture. I'll uh, be back tomorrow. No. You better get it now. Here, Jack, take his camera. Come on into the parlor. I'll give you a fine setting. A gorgeous pose. Something you never saw before. Go ahead. Give him his camera, Jack. Go ahead. Get your setup. If you want to take this picture. Um, will you strike a pose, please, Mr. Vallette? Little action. All right. How's this? Not that. No? Well, let's see. You want action, eh? Well, how's this? Well, that's better. But uh, hold it, please. All right. Joe, how can you play that way when the cops are after us? Cops? They don't bother me none. Yes, but they're after us for murder. Don't you think we go somewhere and get out of here? Keep your shirt on. We ain't got anything to worry about. Say, Chief, the bull's in our district. Yeah? Well, maybe that goofy newspaper reporter did know something. Kit. Throw me out a wire. All right. Give me police headquarters. Well, what have you done down there, Tom? I've thrown a complete net around him. And believe me, if he gets out of those flats, he'll have to be Houdini. Captain Houston, please. It's for you. Hello. Any mail there for me, Bill? Why, I don't know. Or any, uh, telegrams? I'm expecting one from my mother. Marty, Harry, Marty. trace Marty. that Marty. call that just came for Houston. Yes, sir. Hello. 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 Supervisor? I understand you've sent your gold medal squad looking for me. I sent them to get you, Joe. Better take them off, Bill. They're liable to get hurt. No, Joe. They won't have their back toward you. You want to meet me face on, Bill? I will. All right. Here's your chance. I'm stepping out tonight. But keep it under cover. 
Where was he? That call came over a wire from the 3rd District Police Station. Well, I'll be... Tom, start an investigation right away and trace that call. Is he going to take him off? No. But I am. But how? Where's the big night money in this town? Well, there's the silver slipper. It's got the biggest play. All right. We'll take that. But no small stuff. This is just a show-off. To set the cops right about me. You mean tonight, Chief? <laughs> some of the women on this force. I'll say so. Here he is now, Maid. I want you to meet him. Oh, Mr. Burnett, I want you to meet my girl, May. May what? But I wanted to meet you. Yeah, a lot of people would. She's all right, Chief. Why, she's all right, Joe. She's all right. All right, eh? All right. Why, what's the matter with your boyfriend, Trini? Oh. Now listen, Joe. You
Oh, on the floor with them. What is it, May? Did he get you? No, I'm all right. Just my shoulder. Get him. He went out that way. Look after her, Tom, will you? All right. I get for depending on a lot of local crickets. Chirping. Chirping to their skirts. And this one had to be a police mob. Say, Joe, why did you have to kill Taroli? Why? Because dead men can't chirp. Oh. So Taroli talked. Yeah, a broadcast. You're not finding the town tougher than we thought, Chief. Town? There's only one guy in this burg that I've underestimated. And when I get him, I'll have the damn town. Well? There is a Santa Claus. Gather. Car just passed to sack the girl right out of here. This is Commissioner Randall's car. Randall's car. Say, Jack, the cops didn't kill your brother. What do you mean? The big shot just admitted it. Paulette, I'm telling you, he just admitted it. Gladstone 1794. Hello? I want to talk to Valette. Okay, just a minute. Hey, Chief. Taroni's brother wants to talk to you. Who? Taroni's brother. Wants me? Yeah. Hello? I just called you up to say... Goodbye. Yeah? You going away? No. You are. Not so good. 
I wouldn't mind so much if the cops were off. What's wrong, Chief? A little war with Tyrone's gang. Gee, now we are trapped. Looks that way. But we hold the ace, Kit. I guess we gotta fight it out. Yep. And all we know is what Officer Kelly phoned. Not a clue. Not a thing. It was over so quickly, in fact, that Kelly didn't even see the car. If it's a kidnapping, why no word, no... no demand? Oh. Noon to midnight. And not a sign. Oh, what do you make of it, Chief? Why, uh... Any word, Houston? No, sir. Oh, what does it all mean? Why, why should it be my daughter? Is everything being done? Commissioner, we've got every man on the force on this. Could it be for ransom? No, it's not that. If I thought... If I thought they wanted money, I... I'd give them every dollar that I own. But, Commissioner, you couldn't do that. Or you'd be creating a precedent that every crook in town would use. No one would be safe. Houston's right, Commissioner. Oh. You? You could say that to me. It's for you, Houston. Hello. Hello. You know me, Bill? Yes. You pulled a fast one last night. I've got eight of your yellow pups in the tank. Well, that's too bad. When I only have one of your dames. Don't pull that on me. Chief. They're all around us. Look. Go back and stick on your spot. I'm doing all I can. Okay. Listen carefully. This is the last time I'll talk to you. I came here to operate and offered to deal with you. You refused then, but now I'm going to make you. You've got just one hour to call in these bulls. You're coming in with the bulls, Joe. Yes? Well, now, wait a minute. Bring her over here. Sit down. You don't have to push me. Say what I tell you. No more. If you do, your boyfriend knows what may happen. Say to him, I'm here. I'm here, Bill. Did you get that, Bill? We've got two murders on you now. And you can only hang me once. I don't have to tell you what's back in my mind. I demand that you remove Houston and call all of your men in at once. All right. But I've got one hour. Oh, Fred, come on, drive me, will you? Oh, Houston, can you beat it? That last call from Flett came from the 3rd District Police Station. Never mind that, Tom. Get your gang and follow me into the flat. All right.
Now we'll see what we can do. Got anything yet? Not a thing yet, Captain. Step on it, sir. Let me out of here! Let me out! That's up to you. You heard what I said to Houston and your father as the commissioner. Well, what do you want? A little out of my line. I don't usually bother with women. But I don't mind telling you they got two killings on me here and... Come over here. Look out there. I'm in a jam and you're gonna get me out. I'll not do it. Silhouettes. Where did you get these? A bunch of kids picked them up back of the joint down here. Show me. On the front door. All right, Chief. In front of the house, Chief. They're down in the alley now. Yeah. Please, I call quick. Get away from it. Say, Kip, did you unhook that telephone wire? Gee, I forgot all about that. Well, go do it now. Okay. Right back there, Captain. They must be in one of these shacks. You two fellas go over and cover that side. Go back and tell Muldoon to hurry up for that squad. Coroni's gang. Now we are on the spot. Peep out of you.
Come out, Valetta, or I'll turn on the heat. Up, Listen, Houston, you're covered, but you're free to go. If you try to take me, well, your girl's in here. So that's your courage behind a woman. Bill, Bill! Have you got a rod in your hand? It's locked, Bill. Open up, Bill. door out. Well, looks like you got me, Bill. Look out, Alice. Bill, are you all right? Are you hurt? It's all right, Alice. I'm so glad you understood this. Did you clean him up, Tom? I think I have everyone but Philip. You got him, huh? Hold it! I got that one, and boy, that certainly is a scoop. <laughs> 